Sombra's been reworked in Overwatch Season 7, and I goddamn love it! First of all, the way her stealth works is a little weird. I didn't like it at first. Basically, when she's out of combat, she automatically just goes into her stealth, which is kind of annoying because it feels like you lose control over it. Frankly, it kind of makes sense. Now, this does mean that, like, Sombra's kind of always going to be stealth so long as she's not in combat. You can get out of combat relatively quickly. Her new ability, Virus, which is throwing out the little purple cube thing, is pretty good. I like the idea of it and I like the way it works. I kind of have a problem with its like hitbox. Sometimes when you throw it out, it feels like it should have hit the enemy and it didn't. But throwing this bad boy out gives a damage over time and it does more damage when the enemy is hacked. So I think a really good tactic is when you're in stealth, start off with a hack, throw your cube, and boom, deleted. Sombra is doing a lot more damage. I think her primary fire has been buffed, at least it feels like it, and her little submachine gun feels like it does quite a lot of damage, dude. In fact, I'm a little afraid they're gonna tone it back. Hack still works the same way it always does. You can hack health packs and hack enemies, and uh, nothing really new there except it also helps you do more damage. Her translocator you used to throw down somewhere as a kind of homing beacon and then you would be able to teleport back to it. So it was really common for people to hack a health pack, throw a translocator on it and just continuously run back to that which caused a really annoying play style where a Sombra would just come into combat, do a little damage, teleport out anytime she gets scared or hurt and kind of replay that and honestly even as a Sombra player it gets old and sometimes it's really kind of actually annoying because usually the health packs are in pretty inconvenient places. However, the translocator now actually works a little differently, so when you throw it, it teleports you to where you threw it. And the teleport happens relatively quickly. I think this is an amazing rework because this can be used both offensively and defensively. Like, let's say you want to flank someone, you can hop right behind them, or if you need to get out of combat, you can still kind of teleport and translocate away, which is pretty okay. Now here's where I think it gets broken because EMP still works relatively the same way. I think they might have changed an aspect of it. However, I do want to show you a little trick. With the new updated translocator, watch what we can do. That's right. So now we can throw our translocator into a group, pop our EMP, and get a lot of hacks off very easily, which uh, is pretty awesome. Honestly, the changes they made, first of all, she's able to do a lot more damage and make her much more competitive as a DPS, but she also now plays more like a DPS. Instead of sort of just cowardly going around poking and doing a little bit of damage and then just kind of being a little rat and teleporting back to a health pack, now it's much easier to stay engaged in combat and be rather successful, and honestly, it feels good. I am a huge fan of the rework, in fact I think I'm probably going to main her, and I am a little afraid they're going to go back a little bit and nerf her down. At first I didn't really like these changes, but after playing a little bit, honestly it's pretty damn good. Once you get the hang of it and you're able to do her new playstyle, you can do the combo of certain things and it is pretty epic. And there's a lot of clever ways to use all kinds of her abilities. I'm really kind of curious on whether or not they're going to keep it this way. I do feel like she's very strong. Her immediately going into stealth and sort of always being stealth is a little weird, but you can always cancel it. That's important to keep in mind because if you're trying to cap an objective, you will have to cancel your stealth to actually start capping it but I really like it. I don't know, Virus doesn't quite work the way that I thought it would. I think it's really interesting that, I mean, it's just a dot, but I find it really interesting how some of these abilities seem to interplay really well with each other. Like for example, using my translocator, going into an EMP, and then throwing a virus, it's pretty incredible, dude. I don't know, I I actually really like the rework and I'm pretty excited. Honestly, I was thinking about playing her all day and feels good, man.
All right, thank you so much for watching. I love making YouTube videos for you guys. Let me know what you think about Sombra. I will say I have noticed that people's opinion on the Sombra rework kind of depend on whether or not you actually play Sombra. The people who don't want to play Sombra really hate the update because, well, she's really good and now super annoying. And I did play against her, and I have to admit, she's pretty formidable, might I say. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe for more gaming videos. I'll see you in the future, gamers. Have a good one.